Welcome back, everyone. So I've let my hair down because we're making yes, drinks. Yeah. I'm really excited. I mentioned yesterday I had a fantastic Caesar. Now we're learning to make them for our very own. We have uh, Steve and Matt who are going to be showing us how to make <laughs> our Caesars, but more importantly, how to garnish them correctly, right? we got a, the Extreme Dean, uh, who is a part of the uh, Metro Toronto the, the, Convention Center this weekend yeah. uh, because it's the Wine and Food Expo. Yes, the Gourmet Wine and Food Expo is going on. Very and uh, you guys always have a, a, a great show. Uh, at the convention center. Now, I've tried these before. They're very spicy. Tell us about how you guys kind of came up with the concept to Extreme create the beans. beans. Well, me, me and <laughs> myself and Steve were bartending uh, many years ago, and Steve came home. We were living together in a condo, and Steve came home, and he um, said, I want to pickle beans and put them in Caesars. I said, okay. It's, it's an idea. It's, it's an idea. What have you been drinking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. It's, 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 it kind of took me by surprise. So we had one problem. We didn't know how to pickle anything. So I called up my mother. You were in a pickle, you could yeah, say. Yeah, we were in a pickle. Right? So I called up my mother. I said, Mom, how do you pickle stuff? And uh, she thought that was kind of an odd question. But I wrote it down. And that night we went to work. And yep. that was about eight years ago. And we started pickling extreme beans. Well, and we've gone from there. It's Fantastic. Funny. You know, we were just, uh, we just, the segment before this, we were talking about, or a couple before this, we were talking about entrepreneurship um, and just how simple ideas sometimes can be runaway successes. Mm -hmm. And this is one of those ideas. It's been a huge success, hasn't it? Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it started off small. As I said, we used to make them in our condo, and we just yeah. uh, used to take them in. It's like we took them into work for, you know, for people to try, and people were like, these things are great. So we yeah. figured we were on to something. So we made them, and we did a couple, uh, you know, bar, bar and beverage shows and yeah. kind of just, Kind of went from there. Well, good. Yeah. Well, of course, uh, a good Caesar is within the spicing, right? That's how you know a good Caesar and all the garnishes. So let's get started. I want you guys to show us how to make a fantastically delicious Caesar. I'd right. love to. Sounds good. So you got to start with. We, now, this, these are non alcoholic Caesars we're making today because it's daytime television. So uh, but you start with a lime. Yeah, well, we're going to rim the glass here. So we also do, we have a Matt and Steve's uh, Gourmet Caesar rim here, which is very important also. Mm -hmm. uh, we have also developed this. Uh, a lot of people just use celery salt, and we've developed similar spices that we have in our, uh, in our Caesar mix that oh, just right. kind of pull all the flavors together. Similar spices that we have blended in the extreme bean, we've used in our, uh, in our Caesar, Caesar mix. I'm going to show everybody at home yep. your Caesar uh, packaging, which is quite lovely for your bloody Caesar. So it complements the... Yeah, it just kind of pulls, like, good. it's kind of your first taste, right? So it kind of right. pulls all the flavors together. Presentation-wise, it's a little chunkier on the mm -hmm. glass. It's yeah. got different uh, salts and uh, some different uh, secret spices So you moisten in there, the so rim so it all sticks. Moisten the rim, just kind of dip it right in here. You can do it right out of the can, or you can put it on a plate, or you can kind of just play around at home. Mm -hmm. So we like to get make sure we get a nice, thick rim so it kind of evens. Ooh, that looks evens. Awesome. So it's nice and uh, juicy. Some people like a lot, some people like a little. So I guess you do it a preference. Right? I like yeah. the spice. Yeah. yeah. We'd like to put a little bit of spice. It, with Caesar is such a, you know, people love to get home and kind of make their own recipes and it's it's very uh, it's a very personal thing. So yeah. and we got a little bit of Worcester here we're going to go put in there. Yeah, and now, the is important it Worcester or Worcester? The <laughs> <laughs> bake goes on. Yeah, bake yeah. goes on. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so we're just going to throw a little Tabasco in there. Clamato, Clamato. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Clamato and then we got uh, we're going to Top it with a little clamato. <laughs> now it's important to put everything over the ice because once you put it over the ice, then it mixes thoroughly. Right. Once you add your clamato. Now, no, you, oh sorry. I, I was gonna say last <laughs> year I went to they had like Caesar school at the the Food and Wine Expo, and I went to it and I learned how to make the perfect Caesar. So now you're an expert. I know. I know. <laughs> from Calgary, the home of the. Caesar. I know. Is that true? That is true. See? Yeah, it is true. It was uh, born out of the Weston Hotel. Yes. Uh, See, it's the 40th I anniversary of the Caesar right now too. 40th anniversary. 40th anniversary. So, so go out and so. celebrate, people. <laughs> yeah, season. so that's kind of the basic Caesar where you're going to get. And then this is kind of where, uh, where yeah, Matt, and, Matt and I, here, you get the extreme bean coming in. You can, uh, we usually just put, uh, we usually put a couple in. Just kind of pull these out of there. Now the extreme bean, it's a spice pickle bean. Now, yeah, how does this add to the, the flavor? That's what I it's, want It's know. got a lot of, like, when we first came up with our, our, our goal was to kind of replace the celery stick. Okay. So we needed something with a little more flavor to it. So it's, uh, it's a spice pickle bean. It's got a great crunch, and the crunch stays, stays with you of right, right to the end. And the flavor's not, it kind of sneaks up on you. So it's not like a crazy hot. Want to try it? Yeah, okay. dig in, try one. Now, is it hot? hot? It's, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's not overly really hot. Okay. <laughs> it's got a bite to it. It's got a good crunch. It's and pickled, Ooh, and then uh, the flavor will kind of sneak up on you a little bit. Try the other end. We were, yeah. We're a <laughs> <laughs> mm, it's really delicious. That's a little. Now, would you use this for anything other than a Caesar? A lot of our uh, people who are, who are buying it right off the shelf are snacking on it. Uh, Sunday football, they love just sitting, putting it on the uh, coffee table and 
You knit uh, nachos, quesadillas, yeah. uh, sandwiches, uh, burgers. Yeah, just yeah. slice them up yeah. a little bit. Well, you always hear uh, you know women who are pregnant you know, munching on pickles. This could be a good idea. <laughs> you, yeah. you guys have different uh, flavors, or is it just kind of the They're one They're all the same standard. pickles, just two different pack sizes. We kind of use uh, the bigger jar there is for our food service pack size, and then yeah. we do have the, uh, the smaller jar for, uh, for the retail locations that we have. I noticed. So. I noticed you guys here. I don't know if camera <laughs> three can zoom in on this, but you guys are on the uh, on the label as are well. They? Little yeah, we got our little characters yeah. right there. Oh, look at you that! You got uh, Matt and Steve there right is. on the side of the jar. There, there you go. Oh, so. yeah. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> we do all our own stunts. We do all our stunts. Yes. Yeah, so oh, yeah. that's good. Now, we, you learn uh, a lot about people as a bartender. Absolutely. Uh, and uh, I'm sure it helped you become entrepreneurs and networking. Now, what has this whole experience been like for you creating your own product? It's well. It's been a challenge. It's taken us like we've been out about eight years now. So at uh, first, that uh, we just kind of marketed to uh, bars and restaurants, and that you know people were going in and they were trying the product. They're like, "That's great. Where can I buy it?" So that's kind of spurred on our, our retail distribution. Mm -hmm which has definitely uh, been flourishing over the last couple of years, which is mm -hmm. great. So. And I'm sure you go to some of the bars where your, your, uh, your products are featured, because as you know, the Caesar is contagious. Yeah. You know, once somebody <laughs> yeah. orders, somebody else does, and I'm sure you're there, you know, ordering them for yourself. It's the bean guy. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, really, yesterday I was down at a pub uh, watching a football game, and I had uh, an Extreme Bean t-shirt on, and we were having Caesars, and it's... Uh, it's awesome sometimes the response that you get from the bartenders and the people that work in there and go, you know, and then you can kind of prove to them you actually are the owner of the company. Your face <laughs> yeah, is yeah. right on the jar. Just check the jar, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, well, so it's been exactly. a lot of fun. As you know, the, you know, bartender sees you order one. He's already making five others just in anticipation <laughs> yeah. of the others. Absolutely. Well, I want to mention we have some giveaways uh, that you yep. brought in today as well. If you're interested in heading to the Wine and Food Expo at the Convention Center this weekend and testing out some Caesars yeah. for yourself, call in our contest line. We'll put up all that information on the board and you can enjoy it. I would we should we should make one up during I'm the break make and let's have one. Right now. Yeah. All right, yeah.